Yeah, so welcome to another Enthusiastic Steve video. I was going to do a video on um, making a mono band 20 meter vertical ground plane antenna. But I noticed over the last few weeks there's been quite a few, uh, quite a few antenna videos coming up on YouTube uh, of similar design. And I posted up some ideas on uh, a couple of Facebook, Facebook groups and um, I've got some very good responses coming back saying uh, suggestions about using ladder line etc. And it started me thinking about um, how I could actually make a slightly different antenna. Maybe I could use ladder line to uh, improve over what I was going to actually do. But then I thought, ladder line, let's, let's boost it up a little bit. Let's mash some ideas together. Instead of using ladder line, how about using a ladder? An actual ladder. Two ladders, um, get them resonant on the 20 meter band and um, give it a go. Well, I did some experiments. I did an experiment on the 11 meter band because I've got some uh, local uh, CB contacts and such. Um, and I made one and it was very successful. So today I'm going to go up that and I'm going to go from 11 meters to 20 meters and see how far I can actually transmit and be heard on a proper ladder antenna. So what do you need to make a proper ladder antenna? Well, it comes as no surprise, just a couple of aluminium ladders. I've got two here, an extending ladder. Uh, each section is roughly about eight feet long. Uh, so when it's fully extended with an overlap, it's going to be slightly shorter than a 20 metre quarter wave resonant length. But we can tune that out. And we've also got a folding antenna, uh, both aluminium. And we can use that as a, like a ground plane radial. Um, again, just slightly short of uh, the quarter wave for 20 metres. But with uh, a small tuner, well, most tuners in a, in a, in a radio will, uh, will cope with the uh, small amount of uh, difference and uh, connect them up uh, to a coax. Uh, centre braid will go to the vertical, uh, or centre core goes to the, the vertical, and the braid will go to the, uh, the radial or ground plane, as you want to call it. And um, we will see how it turns out. OK, let's start building that ladder antenna. Always safety first, there's a little securing line to stop the ladder from falling away from the pole. To connect the coax to the ladder, all you need is a piece of wire with a crocodile clip on either end. Connect one on the centre, connect that to the vertical ladder. And connect the other one to the outer of the coax and then onto the ladder on the ground, your counterpoise or ground or radial. And this is how it looks once it's all connected. Well, we've come back inside. It's a beautiful sunny day out there, blue skies. It's a shame to come in, but we need to test the antenna now. Um, I'm calling it an antenna because that's what it is. It's two pieces of conductive metal connected up to the coax. And we're going to transmit now on the 20 meter band. I'm going to start off using Whisper. Um, because there's not too much voice activity on there this morning. I'm going to try Whisper. And just see how far this thing actually works. Now, I've put it onto the uh, VSWR meter, and surprisingly, with no adjustment, no added capacitance or inductance, I'm getting a 1 to 1.6, I believe, or 1 to 1.7, approximately. Um, very good SWR, I can use it straight away. But I will use the manual tuner um, just to tweak down that a little bit, uh, try and make it as, as efficient as I can. But like you say, if you've got a ladder near the right length, you even the antenna, any tuner built into a radio with about a three to one will tune it. So, and again, if you consider, if you live in an area where you're not allowed to put antennas up, this could be an ideal solution. I've just got a couple of ladder, a ladder put on the ground and a ladder propped up against uh, my fiberglass pole. It could be up against the garage. But no one's going to say anything. You can use this if you're into, especially digital modes, FCA and Whisper, this could be your ideal solution. So I'm going to give it, we'll give it a go. With no tuning whatsoever, you can see here on the cross needle display, approximately 1.6, 1.7 SWR. So you can use it straight out the box. 
So there we go. We've now got WSJTX running, uh, connected up to the antenna or the ladders. And we're running five watts uh, through the ladder itself and transmitting on 14.095.6 megahertz. So it's in uh, the two minute transmit mode. Uh, we'll let it go through a couple of uh, transmits and then we'll go to the uh, whisper net and see does this thing actually work. It might just be resonant and then being a big dummy load or is it actually working as an antenna? Well, we'll find out in a minute. Well, that's one of the uh, great things with the uh, whisper mode. Um, you've got time to go and make yourself a, a nice brew whilst it's uh, doing its two minute transmits. It's done, um, it's done three. It's done three transmits now and uh, hopefully the database is updated on the whisper map. So the next thing is we're going to, uh, I'm just going to have a sip of my tea and then we'll look at live, the big reveal. We'll actually look at whisper and see is this just a big dummy load or did it actually transmit? Cheers. We'll have a look at the minute. So for those who have not seen this one before, this is wsprd.vkjj.com. I find this to be a very clear, very, very useful, lots of tables and maps and charts and statistics you can get from your whisper signal. Strength, distance, comparisons, very good site. What I need to do is uh, just set this up. I'm just gonna lean forward, so it might be a slight change in my audio. Uh, we'll leave it for an hour. This is live. I've not actually checked the signal yet, so you're going to see it live with me. Does the ladder work? I'm going to go into the uh, TX call. My call sign, old M sits uh, Whiskey uh, Victor Victor. Uh, Mexico sits Whiskey Victor Victor, or Whiskey Double Vodka, as some call it. And I'm going to press the uh, search and we'll see what happens. Straight away, we should get... Well, look at that. We, we've got a whole list of... Um, reports back from the signal. Um, right, fantastic. Now, this is why they call me enthusiastic Steve. Not slightly crazy, but I am enthusiastic. And this is what keeps me in the hobby. Now, click on the map. Let's see where they relate to. Map coming up. Zoom in. Let's, uh, let's get the satellite map up. And straight away, straight away, I'll zoom in. Let's have a look see where we're going. Oh, amazing. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. Look at that. We've hit America. 6,893 kilometers. Five watts of power into an aluminium ladder. We've got up to Iceland. We're into the Nordic countries. We're down to Portugal. We're right down out across Europe. Um, it's still relatively early in the day. So the 20 meter band is yet to really properly open up. And considering this antenna is flat on the ground, no height to it, and I'm surrounded by houses, this is a remarkable result. So there you go. A ladder antenna, 20 metres. Great thing is, you can probably adjust this. I could lower that antenna, uh, lower the ladder down, use it on 17. Yeah, use it on the uh, 18 megs, 21 megs, 28 megs, all from a couple of ladders. So there you go, guys. A ladder antenna for HF. How far can you get? Well, 6,893. If you want to try and beat that, there's the challenge. That's what I've done today. So this has been Enthusiastic Steve. Fun to experiment. Absolutely fantastic. I'm buzzing now, so I'm going to go and finish my cup of tea. Anyway, all the very best from Enthusiastic Steve. Don't go just yet. Hang on. We're going to compare that whisper map with one for my Delta Loop antenna. Let's just see how well it's working. So here we have the whisper map again from the uh, ladder antenna, showing the uh, where the reception ports and reports were coming from. And here, the one from the Delta Loop antenna. As you can see, they're very similar. The Delta Loop antenna has maybe chucked a few more signals into America, slightly higher up. Um, up the coast a bit further, but distance wise, very, very similar and a Europe almost identical. 